Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're actually going to get into something that we haven't gotten into the channel um, so far. So this is the first time we're getting into something like this, which is a review of a product. Now, um, <clears throat> this channel is really about self-help and uh, for the most part, until it may, you know, dive into other things. But for the most part right now, it's about self-improvement, self-help, things that, that sort and help you on a better path. And one of the things we spoke about in um, a previous video was about, um, you know, just things that you carry on yourself, a wallet, your watch, this and that. So now we're diving into um, multi-tools because apparently there's a market for people who um, who carry multi-tools on them. And I'm one of them. I'm not a big, heavy tool person, but I actually do carry, um, I have a total of four multi-tools. Um, but right now, the one that we're looking at right now is the Gerber Arm Bar drive slim or i think it's the arm bar slim drive uh you can correct me in the comments i'm sure if i had the package in front of me i would just be able to look at it and tell you but anyway this is me just doing this review off the top of my head so don't mind if i'm a little lower the place so um it's very slim I actually just found out about this one recently, um, even though it's been on the market for over a year. And it actually is to my liking because I'm, I'm even though I enjoy like anybody else, um, you know, various multi tools. A lot of times that's a little too much for the average person who's not a real tool person who's doing like work and stuff like that to just be carrying on them all the time. But the thing I like about it so much, similar to the. Um, <clears throat> the uh, center drive that Gerber makes which I actually bought as a gift for for a family member maybe about um I think it's been like three years ago uh is that it had a regular bit driver and it came with a whole um set of bit drivers with it but uh well bits with it but essentially it's a regular screwdriver size um you know unlike certain other multi-tools that um which I'm just gonna bring in one just to give you a little a little idea of real quick this is a uh, leatherman tool leatherman uh wingman and most most have uh, things like this and i'll later do a review on this tool as well but you know, um you could see here that it's a uh, screwdriver um you know it's very flat those are the ones that come let me get the focus that come standard with most uh, tools like that. And um, they're usually pretty flat, but um, you know they don't take up as much space as the tool. So here, what drew, what drew me to this was the fact that you've got a full size standard screwdriver head with you know replaceable, re replaceable bits or interchangeable bits. Um, so that's cool. Some people had commented who've uh, you know who've done reviews or comments about this uh, already have said that they were a little bothered at the fact that this doesn't have a locking mechanism for the um, the driver, but it has a bit of retention enough to where I feel if you had to you know screw something in, you know you wouldn't um, you wouldn't feel like okay like it's gonna collapse on you now. Granted, if you had, you know, needed to do a lot of pressure or whatever the case is, it might be a thing. But typical basic things, you just have to, you know, uh, screw something in maybe for like a, I don't know, like a piece of furniture or a toy for a kid or something like that. Shouldn't be a problem at all. So it's pretty cool um, in that regards. Um, the other tool that's on it is your knife. And it's actually a pretty long knife given for the size of the tool. So I actually like that a lot. You know, I'm not really too familiar with all the different types of um, types of different steels. I know a lot of these multi tools use a 420 type of steel. I can't really quantify to tell you what that means, but um, generally speaking, this blade I had no problems with it. It's it's you know it's very stable. It's it's not shaky or wiggly. Um, you have the locking mechanism there. It's a long blade, so I feel like as just an everyday carry, um, it will serve you for what you need it to. Along with the fact, like I said, it's very small. So, I mean, you never notice this inside your pocket. Um, and the last tool that it has is a uh, bottle opener. So, between the three tools that it has, I'll pull them all at the same time. I feel that this is one of the best little multi-tools a person can have on them. Because it's everything that you want without any of the stuff that you don't need. 
Um, you know, there might be some more tools that a person might say, yeah, I could use on me. But essentially, the tools that are on here, I think, are 100 percent guaranteed you're going to use them. You always use a knife. Almost everyone uses a knife, whether to open up a package, open up a box um, to cut something. You always use a knife. A screwdriver is I don't know if you want to consider a knife a tool, but if you don't, a screwdriver is the number one tool that a person uses all the time, whether it's for furniture, whether it's like you got a little kid and you got to open up the toy for to get to the batteries or whatever the case is. So this is the number one tool that anyone ever uses, I feel. And uh, if you consider a knife a tool, then it's probably second or even equal to the knife. Um, and then last, a bottle opener. Now, we don't all use a bottle opener all the time, but if you're like the average person who goes out and you're not just a stay at home person all the time, you go out with friends, maybe they go drink a beer, maybe they, whatever the case is, um, you know, it's nice to know that you have that on you because if you don't, you know, you don't want to be scrambling around where someone's like, oh, I can't open up the, you know, the bottle. Um, some even soda cans, classic old school soda cans do it like that as well. So it doesn't hurt to have it on there. It's not the most used tool, but it's definitely one of the kind of tools you would need on you when you're out and about as opposed to, um, you know, um, when you're at home, when you're at home, you probably wouldn't need something like this on you uh, as much, but uh, you know, yeah, cause you'll have drinks, but you'll have a, a proper um, bottle opener. But as far as when you're out on the street, that's the purpose of the multi-tool, I feel. Something portable is to have on you in a pinch when you have no other options. So with that being said, that's my little review on the Gerber Arm Bar Slim Drive. Um, yeah, and I like it. And it is my new everyday carry. All right, you guys. See you. Catch you guys in the next video.